hi guys welcome back to my channel so I thought I was recording and I was making a little bit of ephemera for the journal and realized that my phone battery had died and I wasn't paying attention so I have done a little bit that is not on camera um, anyway welcome back to my channel this is Betty um, you guys know who I am. Now, one of my um, members of my Facebook group had asked about um, her spine. Um, she said that whenever she would, um, that she added some extra pages, and whenever she would open it like this, that it would um, pop up. So what I would suggest to do is to go like right in here and just take a little bit of glue and kind of glue it down like that, just so that it won't pop up. That should work, um, hopefully. So um, what I had done off camera, that I thought was on camera, is I took some of the little tags that had come in the kit, and um, I had backed them with some of that um, paper that was in the kit, and I'm gonna sew around these. Um, the other thing I had done is I had taken the, um, the red uh, cardstock that was included and I had put it onto a piece of the, um, uh, card, the you know, pack, cardstock that came in the pack and made a big tag and I was going to put something there. You know what? I had put Miss Terry's ribbons up and I was going to use those. We may use something different. Um, the other thing I've done, this is another one of the tags that I have backed. And then I took one of the um, little journal cards and then there was a ticket in the, um, in the ephemera kit that I kind of cut a little bit shorter. I folded it in half and then I took my little um, hole punch and I just kind of cut the um, edges off to make a little pull tab. And that goes uh, right in here. Um, so I'm not gonna worry about sewing these right now because um, you you get the idea so you know what's gonna happen with those um, I'm gonna just slide this back in there for now and let me put these back in here and so these were those pockets and you see this one's on top of this one but it doesn't matter because it's you know you can still utilize the full pocket um, so I am going to put something on the top of both of those. Oh, yes. And this is the other thing I did. I took the glassine bag that um, was in the kit that was holding some of the little um, stuff. And I folded it in half, cut the top and the bottom off of it. And I glued down the middle of that. Then took one of the pieces of um, paper that was in the kit. And I have made a little envelope so I can put um, you know I can put some of my little ephemera pieces down in here um, you know if it's something that I'm not going to use right now but I think I might want to decorate my journal with it later I can just take and just drop them down in here and I will have them right there with me so I'm just going to put a couple down in there I'm not sure if I'm going to slide that down in there or if I'm going to put it somewhere else, but we'll put it there for right now. And then the other thing I did was I took um, another sheet of the paper and I'd have to get my ruler and see where I scored it at. Okay, so it looks like I scored it at three... So I scored it at three, three and a half, four, four and a half, and five. And that gave me a three inch um, front and back. And then I had this little spine area that I took another piece of the paper and just kind of cut. So it's like a little journal spot that can go uh, in the journal somewhere. I'm not sure where I'm going to put that just yet. Um, I do have this tag that was with... I made the other day on on camera and I think it matches so we may end up using it and then the other thing I done was I took my die cuts and I took uh, the red and I cut the back of the tree out of the red and then I cut the inside of the tree out of this paper like this 
and I'm not sure exactly where I'm going to use it, um, but I was just wanting to do that. So now I need like a big tag to go up underneath there. So we will see what other paper we have available. You know, that might work. I trimmed it down some. I don't want to lose any of the, you know, per, the writing, so I really wouldn't have to trim it down a lot. Let's tr let's try that. Um, I'm going to trim just a little bit off of each side. I want to keep the writing though, so I'm not going to trim much off. We'll see how it goes. Because, I mean, really, it would be fine just like it is. So, that's not a problem. But let's just see how that looks. Oh, I like that. And see, that can just stick in there like that. So now the next question is, do I want to leave it like that or do I want to back it? And um, let me see, I may want to back it. And I picked this up today at um, Tuesday morning. It was like $3.99. It was $49 in market. And it's a vintage artistry Noel ephemera stack. And so there may be something in here that we can back this with. Oh, there's some really cute stuff in here. I'm not going to tear those apart just yet. But this is all. Oh, look. I thought I saw a tab. I did. Okay. So, oh, these are nice. These are very nice for $3.99. How cute. That looks like a piece of an envelope. Oh, look. Oh, I love that. So, I was trying to keep the whole thing just from my scrapbooking with me kit. Um... But I really want to back that with something. And I don't want to waste a sheet of my beautiful paper. So I may end up backing it with something from here. We'll just see. And that's pretty. We can even use that too for something. Now I don't know... might work. You know what I can do is I can actually glue this down and then I can cut around this so that we have the same shape as this right here because I like what that says. So let's try that and again I'm not going to glue it real good because I will probably end up um, sewing around it all. I'm just trying to clear some space out here. I am so good at making a mess. But look, guys, my glue's doing halfway decent. And then watch, as sure as I say that, that something's going to happen. So I am not sure how long this video will be. I am not feeling that well. My sinuses were giving me a fit um, earlier in the week. And I thought it was my sinuses because I can't, anytime we have to turn the heat on, the heat just kills me. Um, and the bad thing is, I need the heat because I'm so cold natured. But it just kills my sinuses. And so I thought that's what was going on with me. Um, because Florida weather is so crazy. Um... It is cold at night, and we have to run the heat, 
gets cold in the morning times. And then about mid-afternoon, you got to turn the AC on. It's just crazy. So I thought that's what was going on with me, but I don't know. I'm not feeling real good. Um, but I wanted to get this done. I felt bad that I didn't get a video posted this morning, but I just, I didn't, I did not feel good. So we will work on this as much as we can tonight. Um, I'm not sure that I'm going to finish it all tonight, but you know, I do want to do a good portion of it. So I'm right now, I am just following along with the jagged cuts that was on that, um, little paper that I pulled out of the pack. I don't think they even had any rhyme or reason to the how they cut it or tore it or, you know, whatever it's supposed to mimic. So, now, I did let me pull it up here. I did find my, um, my red paint I may have to grab. I may have to put you guys on pause because I want to get something different. I don't have my red um, dauber out, and I don't want to use one of my good ones. Let me see if I've got my little lipstick thing here. Okay, I'm gonna put you guys on pause a minute. Okay, I am back. So. This is what I was I use sometimes. If it's something that I don't use um, the ink a lot, I use this. And I just got this from Dollar Tree. It's just I think it's a makeup sponge. It's in the makeup section, um, and it works really well. So that's I'm just gonna ink around the edges a little bit with this red. I think this may be candied apple or something. Just give it a little bit of dimension, and it's a little different color than, you know, the other ink stuff that I have been doing in there. Okay. Now, I have that inked. And now the next question is, do we want to... Look at there. That's what I want to do. And do I want to do something like this? I could ink this a little bit with the red. Just give it a little bit of definition. I think it still needs something a little bit different. And let me just see what I have. And these also came with the kit. These are adorable. So I don't know. There may be something in here that I want to use. My thing is, when I get all this cute stuff like this, I want to hoard it. I really do. Ooh, I love the vellum. But I can feel myself wanting to hoard it again. Okay, so I cannot hoard it. I have to, I'm going to have to have a little pep talk with myself because I'm, I can feel it. <laughs> How many of you guys are like that? You just really, when you find something like so cute, you just kind of want to keep it and just not even use it. And so that's so crazy, but I know that I do stuff like that. Okay, so I'm just going to put some of this down. I'm not sure if I even... I actually, it looks kind of crazy, but I actually kind of like it. Um, don't ask me why. I really don't know. Okay, I said too much about the glue because there it went. It was... It decided it didn't want to cooperate just then. 
So I think we also need to maybe do some pockets and stuff in here because there's a lot of ephemera that I would love to just, I just want to stick this stuff in because it's so cute. And I don't know that I want to actually like use it by tearing. So I just want to be able to look at it. That's one of the things for me. I love to just, I love to just look at it. So, I got that down there. And, got my journal over here out of the way. Look at me. So, let's move some of this stuff right here. I love these. Absolutely love those. So, I hope you guys were able to get you one of these kits because I think they are all gone now. They only had just a handful of them left after they got done shipping everything out. So there was just a few of them left. And I am sure that they went very quickly. So I'm just right now, I am just going through um, this little ephemera pack that came in with the kit. Um, and I'm just going to Excuse me, I'm just going to put some of it on the front of this card here. There's just so much cute little stuff in here, and that's the other thing. I just want to, like, use it all. I want to use every bit of it. <laughs> Which, that's silly, too. What about if I do something like this? If I glue this onto here. This is one of those little strips that we had left over. Hang on one second. Let me answer my hubby. Okay, I am back. So, I think what I'm going to do is I am going to glue this onto that little strip that we had cut off of some something it was part of this kit somehow and I'm just gonna glue that right there just like that and then I don't know that I can round the corners because of how small it is so I'm just gonna like trim them off kind of at an angle which it may look silly when I get done. But I done it. And then I'm just going to ink around that. Give that a little bit of definition there. And then I think I'm going to just put it right there. I've had too much fun with this kit, um, but my problem is that I really love it, and so I find that I don't really want to use the paper <laughs> that much because I don't want to use it up. So I'm having an issue with that. Okay, so we're going to call that one done. So let's... Um, we're just going to stick it in here with that side up for now. So we've got that. We've got that. We need to make a pocket. And we have a couple of different things that we can use. So I had this that I had cut something out of. And I don't know what it was. Because I don't want to waste any more sheets if, you know, if I can help it. So here's another piece. We might use that. And then this was in that um, kit that I got today. So we might could even use something like that. So I definitely think I need a gusseted pocket because I have so much. So let me see. Let me cut this off right there. 
as I knock everything around because I always keep everything out on my desk when I really should be putting it up. So I'm just going to, I'm not measuring it, I'm just going to cut it where it will be at least straight or somewhat straight. find the scoreboard. Okay, I'm going crazy with all this stuff on my desk because I can't move stuff around. All right, so I think I want to, um, I know you can see I'm doing it on the long side first. I think I'm going to do half inch gussets because I've got a bunch of stuff that I'll probably end up putting in there. And I'm going to do a half inch on this bottom as well. Folding that over on those score lines. And I am going to cut those corners so that when I fold it, it's not going to be making a mess. And then I think I'm going to put a little pull up there in the top. And then I want to ink around it with my red. Since this is green, I think the red will look really cute. I'm just inking around it there. And folding it so I can get some definition on the edges there. And so I think I want, oh, I like how that's going to look. Yeah. So let me tack these down just a little bit so that it, they're not getting in my way when I'm trying to glue it down. So I'm just going in there and just kind of putting a little spot of glue on the edges of them to go ahead and glue that bottom flap to them. And all that's going to hopefully do, and I should have used Fabri-Tac because it dries quicker. It'll just kind of keep them from um, coming up and me having to fight with them. But it looks like I'm still having to fight with them. So I don't know how great of an idea that was. But we're not going to let it win. I'm going to win. <laughs> a challenge at this point you know but it still looks like it may win but that's okay because at least I got the one done so now I am just going to oh no it looks like I'm out of one so now I'm just going to take my Fabri-Tac and I am going to glue on those um, little gussets there And then I'm just gonna glue that right on down. And I'm taking it a little more to the outside than I am to the inside, just because of, you know, making sure that it closes properly. Okay, so now let's see. We've got all of that. We'll load this up with stuff. Um, I don't know that I want to cover that up. I was going to say we could put a pocket on the bottom of that, but I don't really want to load that up. We can put something here. 
some of this really cute ephemera. Let's see what we can find. I like that one. <clears throat> Actually, we might ink those up and just kind of put them there like that. It may not, you know, they may not look that great, but I like them like that. And that's what matters. And I will probably use this journal myself. Um, we are supposed to be going down to South Florida next week, hopefully, um, to spend some time with my third and fifth daughters and their families that live down there. Um, we're supposed to be going down there for Thanksgiving and one of my granddaughter's birthdays. And so I will probably take this journal and use this because we'll be doing a lot of Christmas type stuff. Um, so I may end up using this as my little journal for that time period down there. Oh, and you know what I forgot about? We made that a little tuck. We certainly did. And I forgot all about it. I'm just trimming the corners off of that. I'm going to ink it up just a little bit. And there will be lots of places in here that I can journal, even if I don't back everything or, um, you know, if, if I don't cover every single bit of the pages. Uh, I can actually write on the pages. Look at that. How cute. Okay, so we've got that, we've got that. We just need to really do something to this front and I don't know what I want to do to it. I am a little bit lost. I do have this, so I really need to make something to put this down in. Um, What about if we do another pocket right here? Let's see what we have. It doesn't even have to be like a big pocket, but it does need to be something that that can slide down in. And let's see what I got in that stuff to, oh, you know what would be cute? I know what I wanna do. Let's see, let's see. That's what I want to do right there. Okay, so let me ink this up and I'll show you what I'm gonna do. And like I said, this is some little kit that I got from um, uh, Tuesday morning earlier and I loved it and it was $3.99 so I loved it even more. All right, so now I'm just going to take my glue and I am just going to glue an area right here, just like that. And then I'm going to take my dolly or lace or whatever this is, and I'm gonna just put it right there like that. And then when that dries, I will cut that off and that will be a tuck, a very cute tuck. I love it. So let me, maybe I can cut it off so that we're not sitting here waiting, you know, watching paint dry or something. That's what my dad used to say. Ah. Maybe we should sit here and watch paint dry. <laughs> I'm still gonna attempt it because I'm gonna have to be getting off of here because I'm not feeling so good. 
but I wanted to get as much done as possible. Look at that. And now we'll ink the corners there where I just cut that off. like I need to I took it down a little bit further than what I glued so let me just put a little bit of glue right here just a little bit's all I need and I make it such a mess when I'm crafting and what's funny is I really have OCD but when I'm crafting, it's just like, who cares? Okay, so we will set this in there. And this is just a little card type thing I can journal on or in. Um, I could actually even, my phone is dying again. So I am gonna have to get off of here before it completely dies and I lose this video too. But, so all I'm doing is just inking around this. Um, I will slide this up underneath that little tuck area that we just created. And as you can see, I can, um, I can ride on it. I could add little pockets in here add some little tabs, anything at all that I want to do. And that's it. So we'll call it done for now. So we have our front cover here. I left it kind of plain. I loved it. Now we open it up. We have this little booklet. And I'm not going to stick it under there right now because it's still drying. We have the tags here that I am going to sew around and put some ribbon on. We have the little tuck here. With this cute little envelope that needs to be inked around and I'll do that off camera and then we've got use the glassing bag then we have this that I use the little foam um, dots to make it pop we made a little tuck there with a little journal card we have a big pocket here with a big tag We made us a little tuck here with a little journal card, or should I say a big journal card? <laughs> we have a tag here, a journal card here, and then we have, ah, I cannot get it in because I'm trying to put it in crooked. Then we have this here that we can just fill up with all sorts of little tags and all sorts of little stuff so there we go guys that's it I'm gonna have to go because my energy is gone I'm not feeling good and apparently my phone's energy is gone as well so thank you guys for watching I appreciate it I hope you enjoyed it and let me know if you try to do one of these and what you think about that um let me know what you think about that accordion spine so Thanks, guys. I will see you all hopefully tomorrow. Bye, guys.